guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my yearly, daily, and my quarterly goals for our upcoming homeschool year. I am so excited, you guys, to be sharing our daily schedule and how we're gonna do things around our homeschool this year. So if you guys are interested in watching, then go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm actually a mom of three girls. I have a nine, three, and a one-year-old, and I'm going into my second year year of homeschooling you guys I am still very nervous and but I'm really excited and hopeful for our upcoming school year um, one thing I can say about homeschooling schedules and everything like that is that I definitely want to allow myself to continue to be flexible at when it comes to our homeschooling schedule and our daily flow and just how we keep things in our home I am still in a season that is pretty hard. Last year when I started my homeschooling year, I had a six month old and I had a two year old. So I was breastfeeding and potty training at the same time as long as along with homeschooling. So I definitely had my hands full and I'm still not in a season where it's definitely going to be smooth. I do have a one and a three year old and I know our days are gonna be jam packed and it's gonna be you know crazy again, but I do wanna allow myself some flexibility. So if any of you guys do have some young ones I definitely hope that um, me showing you guys my daily flow and my yearly schedule will probably help you guys especially if you're in my same boat so I'm gonna flip the camera around you guys and I'm just gonna lay out everything and show it to you guys okay you guys this right here is actually my um, yearly schedule that I have for our upcoming 2021 2022 school year so you guys, I just went online and I just printed this sheet off. And um, yeah, this is how I did my schedule for last school year. So it worked out just fine. So I did the same thing. So I just got a calendar so I can see the whole school year. So our start date is actually going to be August 2nd. You guys, I have two weeks to get this all in order, but I'm really, really excited and hopeful. So that is our start date. And our first eight weeks is going to end on September the 24th. I have scheduled our first week break at the end of September because we're actually going to be doing one last vacation of the year during this time right here. And that's one thing I do love about homeschooling now is that we can just stop anytime we want to and do you know any vacation. So I'm really excited about us doing this vacation at the end of September. Um, after that, we are going to just go ahead and start off in October. We're going to be doing weeks 9 through 15, and then we're going to have a break for Thanksgiving break. I do have the week 16 right here, just because if we have anything we need to catch up with that we didn't finish within our first semester that we need to, this week 16 is really like a catch up week. I did went ahead and I marked off week 17 and 18 right here, just because I'm going to be using these two weeks right here as like some type of like Christmassy fun activity, um, unschooling type of thing going on. So I'm still going to go ahead and count these two weeks in December before we take our official break as like some type of unschooling uh, thing. Last year, you guys, we went ahead, we did so much like baking and we read so many like Christmas stories. We did like so many Christmas arts and crafts and things like that. And Brielle had so much fun. And I wanna go ahead and incorporate something like that as well. Um, last year, what I did was, when we did all of that cooking and baking, I went ahead and just added like a home economics um, credit for Brielle, just saying that, you know, that was like an elective we did and added it into our school year. So that's what I do have us scheduled to do on the 17th and 18th, and then, we will start our regular core work on the 4th. Just because my baby girl Lana is gonna be two on the 2nd, so I went ahead and took the day off on the 3rd, and we will go ahead and just start back our school year for our second um, semester on the 4th. I have us working all the way really up until this week break in um, April. Now, if Brielle needs to take a break anytime in between here, I will not hesitate to take a break with her. But you guys, like Brie, when she gets the momentum, she's trucking along. And sometimes she's dragging her mama. And she's like, come on, mama, I want to do school. So I'm just really going to go with her flow this year. But if we do need to take additional break in between January, February, March, 
which we will. Um, I have us scheduled to end our school term on the 13th of May. Now, if we take any week, additional week off, it would just fall down uh, to the 20th. However, you guys, this year, Brielle was really done with all of her core work by, I think it was like the 6th or the 13th. And I just gave her busy work for those last like week and a half of school. And I feel really, really bad about it. This year, if she does get finished with her core work, we're just gonna be doing like reading arts and crafts, unschooling, and I'll just count those days, especially if she gets done early like she did last year. I'm not gonna just give her busy work for the sake of busy work to say I have to count a school day. So yeah, this is going to be our yearly schedule. And yeah, again, like I said, we're just gonna just, this is tentative. If we need to change anything, we will, but this is just what I have for us to start off with. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. I really love to write in purple ink. I don't know. I started writing in purple ink a while back and yeah, it's just been my jam. So this right here, you guys, is going to be our daily schedule. Now this schedule right here is the same ex exact schedule that we did last year. My husband, he works from home and he actually doesn't start work until 9 a.m. So last year, what I did was I utilized that time when before he went to work. I mean, we're typically downstairs. You guys, by like 7.45, 8 o'clock, my girls are early risers. So um, Brielle would eat like a quick bowl of oatmeal. Sometimes she'll make a bagel and we went straight into math. So we would do math. Then after we did one of her like subjects where she really needed me, we would um, take a break. She would do like her creative writing. And then this school year, I'm adding in fix it grammar. Then from there, we would do like our Bible study reading. Then I have us doing our unit study. We're gonna be starting off our unit study this year doing our Amazing Africa Heritage Pack. And that unit study is really Charlotte Mason, you guys. So it's gonna be like a lot of reading and oral narration and things like that. So it's less, I should say worksheet heavy. It's more so reading and literature based. And then I have us flowing into language arts. So this is what we did our last school year um, in the afternoon when I had both of my toddlers, my one and my three year old taking a nap. Brielle um, did typing, independent reading, and this year we're adding in piano. So this is the first schedule that I have set up just because this schedule, it worked. However, I'm kind of nervous because during this whole time that I was doing these activities, I only had one toddler up, which was Leia, my two-year-old at that time. So I really was only entertaining her, Alana was asleep while I was able to get all this stuff done with Brielle. Now that they're taking one long stretch nap, you guys, together, if I was to do this schedule, except for this morning time when my husband was will be with me, I will have to do all of this in managing two toddlers. So I was kind of nervous about this schedule, so I went ahead and I created another schedule. So this right here, you guys, is the second schedule that I created, just because I think this schedule might be the one I go with. I'm not too sure, but this one will honestly be, um, it, will be it will be probably the best one. So right first thing in the morning, I do have us doing our creative writing or we're doing her creative writing and her fix it grammar. Again, these two things are fairly independent. While Brielle's doing those independent things, I will be doing preschool time with Leia, my three-year-old. She loves, first thing in the morning, you guys, when she sees her stuff on the table, she just wants to go. So that's what I do with her, is I just let her do her preschool time, especially while Brielle is really independent. Then while we are like eating breakfast and doing our other things, we will do like our Bible study, our reading. And again, this kind of flows into the same schedule we're doing right now for summer where I will read all of my toddlers like nursery rhymes, their type of books, and then I will add in Brielle's read aloud and whatever book she's reading. Then we can kind of flow straight into our Amazing Africa unit study. Again, it's literature based. It's still gonna be reading. So that's pretty much all gonna be combined together. Then I will let Brielle do her typing, which is completely independent. She doesn't need me for that. And then after that, we will break for lunch. We will, um, I will get the two younger ones, my one and my three-year-olds down for afternoon nap. We will go outside before their nap. I will let them run out all their energy. You guys, because right now they are taking their nap from 12 to two. Sometimes I can get them to sleep 12 to three if I really allow them to just run out all of that energy and everything like that. So. Um, I was thinking about doing this and then in the afternoon while they're taking a, taking a nap, Brielle can really have my undivided attention while we do her two core subjects, which would be math 
and language arts. Then um, end up, I'll have her doing independent reading and piano. Now her piano practice, she could do it anytime throughout the day and independent reading. Sometimes Brielle does her independent reading before she goes to bed. And that's just like another time she does like to uh, read, especially during our school year. So this schedule right here would probably be the one that will work best just because if I was to do our old schedule, like I said before, I would just have to manage both of my toddlers and I just don't know if I could do that. So yeah. Now with both of these schedules, our Fridays do look exactly the same. I do have her doing her handwriting. Um, I added in poetry, you guys, just because um, Brielle, she really loves writing. She loves all forms of writing, but I didn't do a lot of poetry and I feel like I need to add that in because I might find she might, she might like to write poetry and poems and things like that. So I ordered some poetry books so we can do like our poetry tea time and things like that on Friday. Again, we're gonna be doing our reading and Bible study. That's just like a part of our natural flow. And then I do have scheduled our art that we're gonna be doing for our first eight weeks. Since she's doing her Amazing Africa, I do have eight arts and crafts scheduled for us to do. I do have like nature study here and this right here you guys for nature study means that I'm going to be intentional and in getting all my girls outside. I'm going to let them make mud pies, get dirty, get messy, take them to the park. I'm just going to be intentional with that time in nature. I'm putting it on a schedule so I can make sure I do it for them. And again, Friday will be like a catch up day. Now Fridays, all of these things right here, you guys, I know will probably be done by like maybe 10 o'clock, honestly. Um, so she will be able to just continue to have fun and do other things that she loves and enjoys. So this right here is going to be um, schedule one, schedule two. And again, like I said, I think I might go ahead and try schedule two. I'm just only a little bit um, hesitant to try schedule two just because when we did schedule one, Brielle was done with all of her school by like 11.30 sometimes because we started so early in the morning. And if we do this schedule, Brielle might not be done until later in the afternoon. However, with our situation, with our daily flow and with the two little ones, this one will probably be more effective and we can really get things done. So um, yeah. Now I wanted to show you guys this little to-do list that I had for Brielle that I made last year for her. Brielle, she definitely loves being able to just check things off the list and seeing everything she's gonna be doing for the day. Um, she definitely sent or definitely wanted some type of independence at the end of our last school year. So I started making this little checklist and this little notebook and allowing her to see what she had to do for the day, what we we're gonna get up to. And then towards the end, you guys, I started getting crafty. I started adding like little stickers and things like that. And she loved every morning coming downstairs and seeing like what I wrote in like her little notebook and things like that. So um, I have this notebook that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's completely blank right now. And I was thinking about doing the same thing. However, you guys, Wendy just introduced her new um, student planner, um, Wendy from Plan Prep Play, Plan Prep Pray. She had introduced her new student planner this week, and you guys, I want to get it so bad. However, after I made my curriculum video, my husband, he's been looking at the homeschool budget, so I'm going to have to wait to get it, but I definitely know since Brielle already likes um, to-do list that she would really enjoy that planner, so... Um, I'm gonna have to wait until our rolling funds, we get some more funds in our homeschool budget. And I think that's probably gonna be something I'm gonna purchase because I already know Brielle will love like that just because she already loves me writing out little checklists. But for now, I do have this little dollar um, folder and I do have stickers and I'm just gonna get her started off because again, she just likes to see what she's gonna be doing for that day. And she just likes to do, especially her independent work, she just likes to do it and she doesn't want me to tell her what to do and you guys I'm really happy because this is going to lead us up towards her older grades uh, for her to be doing things independently and then also too it's just going to allow me more room because next year um Leia is going to be in pre-k and then when Brielle's um the following year she will be um Leia will be in kindergarten so I will officially have you know two homeschool schooling kid age kids so the faster I can get Brielle to be independent, the better it's gonna be for me, especially when it comes time to add in another kid that I'm gonna be homeschooling, so yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my yearly, daily, and my um, quarterly goals for our upcoming school year. You guys, I'm so excited. I am actually on countdown right now. I have two more weeks until our school year gets here, and I have 
a few more things that I do need to get done to get prepared but overall I am excited I'm nervous and I'm hopeful that we are going to have another good year of homeschooling so as always you guys please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see everybody in my next one bye